New tonight, a man shot multiple times by sheriff's deputies is talking about the incident and says he is grateful to be alive. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Eric Talavera was hit by more than a dozen bullets. Now he is suing the county and the deputies who shot him, alleging they were so reckless that one of their bullets hit another officer at the scene. CBS 8 Steve Price was there as Talavera spoke today and has details on this lawsuit. A man shot multiple times by sheriff's deputies is now suing the county and the deputies who opened fire. Now he admits that he stole a trailer, but he says the deputies used excessive force while trying to arrest him. Do not move! It happened in February of 2022. Eric Talavera shot 16 times by the two deputies. Here's the shirt he was wearing. You can see several of the bullet holes. I know there are people who might say I brought this on myself. No one should be killed for taking a trailer. I was desperate and, and homeless and got involved in taking a trailer to try to survive. Talavera had a knife on him. Deputy David Lovejoy, who investigators later determined fired 12 rounds, said he thought it was a gun. Get on the ground! Investigators say Deputy Jonathan Young, who was wearing the body camera that took this footage, fired five shots. I spent months in the hospital some of which I do not remember at all. I was unconscious. Talavera's attorney says the deputies made several mistakes while handling this situation and that an independent review agreed. The Citizen Oversight Board found that he was complying with their commands to get on the ground when they opened fire. One of the rounds fired hit a National City Police detective at the scene. He is also suing the county and the two deputies, alleging excessive force, adding that the deputies, quote, were not concerned with the safety of law enforcement officers on scene or bystanders when they fired their weapons. Mr. Talavera was surrendering to the deputies when they shot him. Talavera's attorneys believe Deputy Lovejoy shouldn't have even been with the department when their client was shot, pointing to an incident in 2020 when a woman says he pulled her out of her car by her hair during a traffic stop, ripping several braids out of her head. He says Lovejoy should have been fired right then and there. The county knew about Lovejoy's history before this incident be began. The county says they can't comment on this lawsuit because of pending litigation. Talavera's attorneys are seeking monetary compensation for what their client has gone through and what he'll have to deal with physically and emotionally for the rest of his life, an amount they believe to be in the tens of millions of dollars. In downtown, Steve Price, CBS 8.